What's up everybody, Tim Conley here, and I wanna talk about something that I get to see a lot. I get some DMs, I get some emails, messages saying, uh, I, I, I like what you create, I like your content, it's helping me out, but I'm still not succeeding. I'm still not getting to where I think I should be. And really, it comes down to belief believing in success. I know it's kind of hokey. I am not a big believer in the secret. I do not believe in the law of attraction and all that kind of crazy stuff. I believe in taking action. I also believe in the human spirit, your willpower, your discipline, your psyche, the thing that makes you, you can be strengthened. This I believe. And I know that being able to get to that next level is really one decision away. And when I say decision, I mean real decision. Like I am committed. I will not waver. I will not skip a day. I am going to do this thing and I am going to do it until it works. This is something that matters and I want to talk about today. So let's you know, check Damn. it. Uh. Yeah. Uh. Yeah. Uh. You're building your business and you're getting a couple of clients. You're not getting like clients on a regular basis. The clients you are getting are not high, high paying, or at least you don't feel like you're getting the value that you believe your work is worth. And especially with the results that you're getting your clients where they're making a lot of money and you're still only making a small amount of money. This is something that we're going to overcome. And I know I've talked about this in other videos. It's really one of the fastest ways of changing your trajectory. And that's raise your prices. I know, I know you're probably thinking my clients won't pay more. I don't know how to get more. I don't want to lose the clients I have. Like you've got a whole bunch of things that you're resisting right now. I know I've resisted them and I know every entrepreneur I've ever worked with over two decades, when I said raise your prices, they resisted it. They had all kinds of excuses. They had zero data, but they had lots of excuses. They had intuition. They had belief. They believed that their price needed to be where it was at for them to succeed. Yet, they weren't succeeding. So we're gonna cover three ways today about raising your prices that are not about the customer, they're not about the client, they're about you. The first belief we've got to get is we don't need a lot of clients. You've heard me say, little hinges swing big doors. I say it all the time. It is the mantra that has built my business. It's built my success. I don't need hundreds of clients. You know, I see these ads from these gurus, and I hope you don't click on them, where they're like, get 20 to 30 clients a month. What they're really talking about is customers. Get 20 to 30 customers a month. That's reasonable, but getting clients you don't want 20 or 30. Maybe two or three a month is manageable because clients are a lot of work. Client projects are a lot of work. Oh yeah, oh yeah, productized services? No, no, they're not actually real. We'll go into that in another case. But when we're talking about helping clients out, it takes a lot of work, it takes a lot of effort, and we wanna get paid very well. So one of the main factors we need to do is make sure our client base is small, but they pay a significant sum so that we can deliver great services. Here's something that you have to believe. If you don't charge a high enough amount, then you cannot appropriately serve your client which means you're going to give less results than your clients want, that they deserve. And this is a key to being able to really succeed for yourself, is that if you think, oh, I'll keep my prices low 
and I'll work really hard for my client and they'll be super happy with me because they didn't have to pay a lot and they got good results. But the reality is you can't serve them. There was this guy, I'm not gonna say who he is, but he became a really well-known guru in a short amount of time. And one of the things that really stood out when he was talking about his business model was that he had an account manager. Each account manager handled 50 accounts because he was charging $1,000 a month to manage Facebook ads and each one of his account managers was managing 50 accounts. There's no possible way that a person could give any kind of real effort to each of those clients. And the reality was his business had incredible churn. It's why he stopped doing the agency stuff and started selling how to do the agency stuff is because his business was full of <laughs> because his business wasn't a good one. There was so many problems inside that business that he could not maintain it the way he was running it because he was charging too little and to be able to make a significant amount of money to pay all of his staff, each staff member had to manage more accounts than they could possibly handle. Let's say you had 50 accounts that you had to manage right now and you were only charging a thousand dollars a month. Wow, that's $50,000, amazing. But how many hours can you actually spend per week on each account? Probably a half an hour. Every one of those accounts is getting poor service. So maybe you get good results for them at first, but then over time, you're not able to because you're working so hard trying to juggle all these different accounts and invariably people start getting poor results. So one of the best ways of succeeding in this space is to maintain a small client base and charge a significant amount of money so that you can serve them properly. This is one of the keys to making you successful. On our path, to making more money, to becoming successful, financially successful, we have to now believe that we are deserving of that money, that our work that we do is good enough for the amount of money we wish to charge. Because if we don't believe it, our clients aren't gonna believe it. So we're the first people who have to believe that we deserve the amount of money that we are asking for the work that we do, for the results that we give. Because we don't really believe it, we don't believe we're worth double, triple, quadruple our current prices, we don't even try to charge more. Or if we do go to charge double our current rates, what happens is uh, our disbelief in ourselves will get us to falter when we ask for the clothes. When we say, what do you think? And they say, I think it's too high. It's because we were not confident. We did not believe in it. We were not congruent with our offer. There's this concept, I believe it was in the book, The Secrets to the Millionaire Mind. I think that's what it's called. I haven't read it in a ton of years, but in that book was the concept of a thermostat. How a thermostat works, right? You set your thermostat and if it gets too hot, the air conditioning kicks on and lowers the temperature. If it gets too cold, the heat kicks on and raises up the temperature. And the thing is, is our belief systems set an internal thermostat. And that really functions when it comes to money. When we start getting more money and it gets a, a little too hot, gets above our range for our thermostat, what happens is, is our mind starts to freak and it goes, oh, 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 too hot, too hot. And, start, and you start sabotaging your own success, brings you back down to where you're comfortable. And so this is something that you've got to adjust to. Sometimes you can just make the leap. Some people are able to do that. A lot of people can't. My good friend, John Logar, what he says is raise your price 20% on your next new client. When you make your next pitch, raise it 20%. Land that one. You're gonna get comfortable with that 20% increase. 
on the one after that, you raise the price 20% again and you're going to get comfortable with it. You're like, okay, I can handle this. I can handle a 20% increase. Oh, I can handle a 20% increase over the last one because that client's happy and I'm happy. And so I think I can raise my thermostat by another 20%. Then again, on the third one, you raise your price 20%, right? And you start getting comfortable. You end up with a physiological change. Your belief system changes. The wiring in your brain changes. Your brain doesn't freak out and say, we've got to cool this thing down. Let's get back to where we're comfortable because it's like, well, we just raise the temperature just a little bit, just a little bit, just a little bit. And we get comfortable. We get confident in our price within just four. I think it's like four point something clients. You've doubled your price on your fifth client. You're making more than double what you were previously and your brain is cool with it and you don't sabotage your success. Here's one of the most counterintuitive beliefs you have to adopt. The more you charge, the happier your client. I hinted at this earlier about charging enough so that you can give great service. But here's something on the other side of this. The more you charge, the more participation you're going to get from your client. I know there's some web designers watching this right now who know that they had like some of their low end clients and they charge some money and could never get content, could never get any of the copy that the client said they would write, right? They, you were like, I can write the, the copy, but it'll cost you this much more money. And they're like, no, 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 no. You just do the design. I'll get you the copy. I'll get you the photos. I'll get you all that other stuff that you want. And then they never do right? Because you were just charging a few thousand dollars. But then you got your very first account where you were charging five figures, 10,000 and up, right? You charge somewhere in that realm, you know, maybe you charge $20,000. And that client gave you everything you asked for. And they did it quickly. And they did it with enthusiasm. Why? Because they had invested enough in that project for it to be important. When a client sees something as mission critical to their business, they give it their all. If they only think, oh, this is a good idea. Maybe we should make a new website, you know, give it a refresh. You know, it's not important to the success of my business. It just, I just want it to look a little nicer. They've got no skin in the game or barely any. So they're going to let it slide. And guess what? They're going to blame you. They're going to blame you on the poor results because they wouldn't do what you asked them to do. And so you're like working really hard trying to get what you need from the client so that you can give them the results that they're after. Those problems get less and less the more you charge. So if you are working with small businesses and you charge $2,000 for a website, you're going to have a lot of problems. But if you work with a small business and you charge $20,000 for a website, you are going to have very few problems because that person is highly invested in the success of that website. So they're going to jump through hoops. They're going to do what you need so that you can deliver the results because they need you to succeed so that they can get their investment back. I want you to internalize this. If you charge more money, your clients will be happier, not the reverse. So if you want that kind of client, the one that's engaged, that wants success, that will work with you, like, like every agency likes to say, our clients are partners, right? Well, no, they're not because most of them are not in any shape or form a partner. They don't collaborate with you. But if you charge significantly, they collaborate. The ones who don't pay a high price, they start questioning the investment. They start questioning your capabilities and they don't participate with you. They don't collaborate. They don't partner with you. Once you understand that the higher you charge in your marketplace, the happier your client will be, the greater your success will be. And that in turn will attract more successful clients. It's a virtuous cycle. 
we start spiraling upwards instead of down. I've turned around dozens of agencies that were on that downward spiral, unhappy staff, unhappy clients. And where I started? Raising the price. Pretty crazy, right? But that's where it all starts. Okay, I hope your beliefs have been challenged at least. If you don't believe me, start putting these things into action. Start raising your prices and start seeing the greater success that you can have in your life, not just in your client relationships, but everywhere else in your life. Because as you start moving up, you start becoming more successful. You start demanding more of the rest of your life. You start getting a virtuous cycle throughout your whole life. This first step, in belief. Belief in yourself starts with you raising your prices and I really hope you take action on this lesson. And I really hope you take action on that like button and the subscribe, a little notification, ding, 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 ding. And do all the socials and I'll see you in the next video. Whoa, before you go, check out this video right here. It's the four yes theory. It will transform your life. You incorporate the higher prices that we talked about today, the belief systems that we talked about today, your life will be on a completely different trajectory. And we're done.